morning. I'm meteorologist Bo Dotson. It's May 11th, 2017. Let's take a look at the weather today. We may have some thunderstorms, and some of them could be intense later this afternoon and evening. We take a look at the official storm prediction set severe weather outlook. You can see they've got us in a slight risk for severe weather here in the yellow. That's a level two out of five risk. And you look here in the dark green, that's a level one out of five risk. So northern parts of the area, perhaps a level one low end risk. And then the rest of it's in a level two out of five. That just means that a couple of thunderstorms could produce large hail and damaging winds. We'll keep an eye on it. The tornado risk is low today, not zero. It's rarely zero when you have a risk for a few severe thunderstorms, but we're not looking for a tornado outbreak or anything like that. Some of the storms today could produce large hail and damaging winds, and that's probably going to be after 3 o'clock this afternoon. Let's say from 3 p.m. this afternoon through 9 p.m. tonight, maybe 10 p.m. That time frame could be the best chance for some of those storms to become severe. We take a look at radar this morning, see just a few showers over central Illinois, north of St. Louis. Now, this area last night was lit up with heavy rainfall, flash flood warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings. All that has diminished as the low level jet has weakened. We look out here in Oklahoma, we see a band of thunderstorms trying to form and then back into Kansas, a little bit of a wraparound precipitation. We will see more showers and thunderstorms develop today as a front sags into our area very slowly and as energy builds today, because we're going to have quite a bit of sunshine as energy builds today, we will see the atmosphere become more unstable. And with the front nearest, we will see some showers and thunderstorms redevelop. Now we could have them redevelop at any time today, but the best chance for redevelopment probably going to be after 3 p.m. this afternoon. Let's take a look at a couple of models. This is the SPC Wharf model. It does a pretty good job with convection thunderstorms. So we'll just move through quickly here and we'll get to the current hour. Stop here at about 7 a.m. in the morning, 8 a.m. The Wharf model was predicting a band of storms to move through parts of Illinois into southeast Missouri. We just showed you radar and that's not happening. So it did not handle that all that well. But let's see how it handles the rest of today. So it shows a mostly dry day as we move into early afternoon, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and then 3 o'clock. We start to see, you can pick out where that front is and the boundary a few thunderstorms developing along the front. Now, some of the models show no storms developing until after 4 or 5 this afternoon. Right now, I've got the chances, about a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms today, most of those after 3 p.m. That seems like the best forecast to go with at this time. And looking at satellite, we do have quite a bit of sun in the area as well, so I do expect the atmosphere to become unstable. So we move through the evening hours, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and you see that front moving southward through the area, band of showers and thunderstorms along the front. And some of those storms, again, could be intense with hail and high winds. Most of them will be producing frequent lightning and some heavy downpours as well. If we get any training storms moving over the same areas, then you can pick up a quick half inch to an inch or more of rain. Some of these areas are super saturated, so we don't need more rain. Notice what happens over the northern parts of our area. Very little rain falls. Let's keep moving through. Whoops, sorry about that. Let's keep moving through 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11, and then midnight. And you see most of the precipitation shifts down to the south. And then tomorrow morning, we may see that move a little bit further northward with some scattered showers in the area for your Friday first half of the day thinking most of Friday afternoon will be dry. Perhaps still some remaining showers over Kentucky and Tennessee. We'll have to keep an eye on that. The bottom line for today is we're going to watch for thunderstorms to redevelop over at least portions of the area. Some of you may not end up with much rain at all now. It appears northern parts of southeast Missouri and northern parts of southern Illinois Maybe not hardly any rainfall if the models are correct. We'll switch over. I'll show you one more model. This is the H triple R, and we'll just do, move through the morning hours. And you can see this one also had an area of showers and thunderstorms over our area. Did not verify, so the model did not initiate all that well. We'll keep moving forward, 11 a.m., 12 p.m., and then we'll move into the afternoon. And you can see not much action on the H triple R model until we get into this evening, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then we move through to the midnight hour. 
11 p.m., 12 a.m., and then it brings the showers and storms well into our area. So if this model's correct, we won't see much rain at all today, and it may wait until tonight. I think the best idea for the forecast will be to go with some afternoon showers and thunderstorms with the front being near our area. And with quite a bit of sunshine showing up on satellite, we should have atmosphere become quite unstable, and that lift near the front should be enough to spark some showers and storms this afternoon. So the bottom line is plan on some shower and thunderstorm redevelopment later today, most likely after 3, into the evening and overnight hours. Locally heavy rain possible. Lightning will be an issue. And then the most intense storms could produce could produce some reports of hail and maybe some uh, a couple reports of damaging winds as well. And again, the tornado risk today is low. Friday, again, some morning showers drying out Friday afternoon. Friday night, Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday should be dry. Highs around the upper 60s to middle 70s on Saturday. A little warmer on Sunday with highs in the upper 70s, maybe even reaching into the 80 degree range. Monday and Tuesday next week should be dry as well. Then we'll have to watch for some new shower and thunderstorms Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Not a sure bet that's in the long range part of the forecast, but there are some indications we may have some more showers and thunderstorms to deal with. Above normal temperatures likely next week into next weekend could be quite warm with multiple days into the 80s.